Hey everyone, Radish here. I'm super excited for today's video, because we have some awesome questions to dive into, and I'll be sharing a bit about what's happening behind the scenes. Let's start by tackling a question from a viewer struggling to transition into programming and building projects. Now, I totally get it, transitioning from solving logic problems to building projects is a significant step. My advice is to start small. Don't try to redo Netflix as a starting project. Choose a project idea that aligns with your interests, break it down into manageable tasks, and gradually increase complexity. Don't be afraid to make mistakes though, that's part of the learning process. Split your project into as many small parts as you're comfortable with. This makes the entire process more manageable, helps you focus on specific skills, and gives you a sense of accomplishment as you complete each part. Also, consider engaging in projects that address real-world problems. And for a practical example, let's delve into the design of an Airbnb-like search page. This project encompasses various components, each serving a specific function. To start, focus on creating a table that displays available listings. Begin with a simple structure and gradually increase functionality to fetch and present mock data. This step allows you to become comfortable with data manipulation and presentation. Next, tackle the map component, using tools like Google Maps API or Mapbox. Learn to plot markers on the map based on the location data of each listing, gaining insights into geolocation and mapping coordinates. Finally, develop various filters for refining the search, such as location, price range and amenities. Start with straightforward drop-down menus and checkboxes, then implement logic for filtering listings based on user selections. This approach ensures you master specific skills before integrating them into the complete project, like building with LEGO blocks. By progressing in this manner, you establish a solid foundation and incrementally enhance the complexity of your project. As you encounter challenges, don't hesitate to reference documentation and seek assistance from coding communities. This step-by-step -step approach not only adds purpose to your coding journey, but also fosters a valuable learning experience, equipping you with problem-solving skills essential for real-world scenarios. Before we go further, let me share a little sneak peek into my life. I've just finished a hectic work week, and now I'm gearing up for an exciting trip with some friends. Let me show you how it went as we talk about the second question. Now, this is a fantastic question, and I find it incredible that at 16 years old, you're thinking about the future. So, my honest opinion is that in the fast-paced world we live in, versatility is the superpower. As I've navigated my own journey through software engineering, I've come to realize the immense value in being adaptable and open to exploring different avenues. While my passion lies in coding, I've discovered that having a diverse skill set and being open to alternate paths, like creating a YouTube channel, has been instrumental in my personal and professional growth. Following your passions is crucial, but it's equally important to recognize that those passions might evolve and new interests may emerge. Embracing change and continuously learning are key components of a successful and fulfilling journey. The beauty lies in the unpredictability of your path. You may uncover hidden talents, stumble upon new passions, or even find innovative ways to merge your existing skills in unexpected ways. Remember, your journey is a canvas and you hold the paintbrush. Embrace the unknown, stay curious, and trust that every step forward, no matter how unconventional, is a valuable part of your growth story. But before we dive too deeply into the philosophical aspects, let me show you this oldie but goldie. Meet Bukovina, a narrow gauge steam train crafted in 1957 in Reshica, Romania. This vintage beauty boasts a robust build, capable of carrying 3 tons of water and 2 tons of coal. With a power of 150 horsepower, Bukovina gracefully cruises at a top speed of 30 km per hour. The slow and steady pace, accompanied by the rhythmic chug of the steam engine, provides passengers with a unique journey through time. The experience was a lot of fun, and one can only hope that this remarkable locomotive will continue to remain operational for another 65 years. That was it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked the video. Radish out!